How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to how many people did nuclear energy kill? Nuclear death toe by In A Nutshell. All right, so uh, I'm not exactly 100% sure if it's talking about like all nuclear energy, like throughout history, like nuclear bombs and stuff, or if it's just specifically talking about like nuclear energy plants and stuff like that because uh that does kind of make a difference in how this video is going to go like if it's talking about the nuclear bombs and stuff the death toe is going to go up tremendously but if it's just talking about like the uh, like the energy power plants and stuff i don't feel like that one would be as big as nuclear bombs for instance but <laughs> who knows so without any further ado here is how how many people did nuclear energy kill Fun title. Nuclear energy creates an uneasy feeling of danger for many people. Yes. Ancient and dangerous minerals are concentrated to awaken seemingly unnatural Those, like, powers. Those alien species or something. Toxic elements that if they escape can and have killed people in horrible ways. How many people have nuclear energy killed and how? You're scaring me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Monkey, drop that nuclear <laughs> energy. Nuclear energy has been a thing since 1951, and since then, there have been around 30 reported accidents globally. Most of them were pretty minor compared to the two disasters everybody is familiar with, Fukushima oh, and okay. Chernobyl. Chernobyl yeah. is undoubtedly the worst nuclear accident in history for a number of reasons. The what did Homer Simpson do? ...and ill-prepared for emergencies, and the government response was slow and more concerned about image than damage control. Wow. Still, only 31 Good job, people died people. directly in the accident. But what makes nuclear energy scary is not reactors blowing up, but the radiation they release. There it is. So the real question Big is how many R-word. deaths through cancer and other diseases will Chernobyl cause? Okay, this got interesting. Here, things get really complicated because you dip right into controversy. And just discussing the different estimates and how they were calculated <laughs> deserves a video of its own. Maybe you want superpowers. The most pessimistic estimate comes from a study commissioned by the European Green Party and projects up to 60,000 premature deaths by the year 2065. Wow. Most scientific studies come up with numbers much lower than this. Okay. The WHO but has 65? estimated that in total, the long-term long death toll will be around 4,000. While the Not UN Scientific Committee on the Effects of Atomic Radiation... Do I? That even this figure could be too high. <laughs> Probably. For more details on this, check our research document. The second big nuclear accident was Fukushima Daiichi Fukushima. in 2011. Fukushima did not only operate with much better technology that was less dangerous in the first place, much better security measures were in place, and the official response was fast and decisive. There we go. And so the current Still death kind of bad, is though. only 573. The major I mean, that's not here is that as bad, but were not a consequence of radiation. that's still a lot. They were indirect deaths from the stress of the evacuation of the areas around the reactors and occurred almost entirely in older populations. Aww. Estimates of the possible long-term deaths have to put faces on them? vary widely. I was okay with them just being dots. About 1, in terms of the other long-term consequences, an increase in thyroid cancer in children has oh, been no. observed. But according to the WHO, this is related to the increased screening rates. By 2018, there had been only one confirmed death among workers as a result of radiation-induced lung cancer. Just one? Now, let's compare this to renewable energy. Yay! Solar wind and geothermal energy basically only cause deaths as a result of construction and maintenance accidents. Unfortunately, their current share of global energy is pretty low. The major player in renewable energy is that is power, interesting. Which mostly means building dams and letting water nuclear flow energy is that low from a higher elevation to a lower elevation. Lovely. In total, hydro has been the most fatal in terms of accidents, with hundreds of thousands of deaths in the last half century. One accident Don't clearly drown. stands out: the 1975 Bankau hydroelectric dam failure in China, which has 1975. To Dang. Old technology. Poor design and poor management by authoritarian governments concerned about appearances. In a nutshell, a this reminds me of playing Oxygen Not Included. That destroyed the dam and subsequently a number of smaller dams in a chain reaction. Oh, a flood of over 15 billion cubic meters of water. Dang. 
kilometer wide waves as high as buildings devastated thousands of square kilometers go green am i right <laughs> oh my god all in all the death toll from just this one accident and its direct consequences is estimated to lie between 85,000 to 240,000. Wow, but all of these deaths caused by nuclear and renewable energy are actually negligible in comparison See, okay, to the swimming nuclear energy source. In nuclear fossil fuel, well, the most widely ah, yeah. used source of energy and electricity. I'm talking about fossil when fuels we nowadays. Fossil fuels to heat up water and make turbines spin, or to cause mini explosions to move cars with internal combustion engines. I like it when like they describe it like that. Mini explosions. Carbon monoxide and nitrogen dioxide are released into the atmosphere. A lot of dioxides. Breathing in these gases disrupts lung function, which aggravates chronic conditions like asthma and bronchitis, and yeah. causes a wide range of respiratory and cardiovascular diseases. But even more dangerous is the fine particle pollution burning fossil fuels Ooh. causes. A mixture of solid and liquid droplets of poisonous substances as small as 2.5 microns in diameter. They easily find their way deep into your lungs and increase Just the risk like of deadly diseases put like my mask on cancer, all stroke, times. and heart disease. Fossil fuel related air pollution is the number one cause of environmental related deaths in the world. According to the WHO, Numero uno. it accounts for 29% of all cases of lung cancer, 17% of deaths from acute lower respiratory infection, 24% from stroke, 25% from ischemic heart disease, and 43% from chronic obstructive pulmonary Bro. disease. That's, all all, that's a lot. Air pollution adds up to the deaths of 4 million people each year. Wow. What makes air pollution especially Yeah, Earth's kind of sinister is the fact that the damage it causes happens very gradually, which makes it hard for our brains that didn't evolve with subtle dangers in mind. Don't do that. <laughs> the scope of the problem. Collectively, you done messed up there, from Birdie. Fossil fuels is estimated to have killed around 100 million people in uh. the past 50 years. Objection. Wait, is that really fair? Fossil fuels also provide over 80% of global energy, so it makes sense that they cause the most deaths. So let's compare deaths okay. per energy unit. Deaths per energy unit produce. These are really cool <laughs> transitions. Death rates from different energy sources per one terawatt hour. That's about the annual energy consumption of 27,000 E. Okay, we're gonna do some math. Or 12,600. Not the best at math, but I'll try. To produce that much energy for one year, coal causes 25 deaths, oil causes 18, and natural gas, three. Okay. Renewable energy causes one death every few decades. And nuclear, in the worst case, nuclear energy would cause one death every 14 years. Huh. One study even found that nuclear energy actually saved 2 million lives between 1971 and 2009 saved? by displacing fossil fuels from the global energy mix. Uh-huh. The numbers okay. are clear. Even when using wildly pessimistic numbers, nuclear energy is among the safest forms of energy generation. Where's all these monopoly the men now? To slow down rapid climate change, it's a really valuable low carbon option. However, all these facts still leave one major argument that is feared Aww. against nuclear power. <laughs> thought it was going to turn into Daredevil. Opponents of nuclear energy argue that nuclear waste and its lack of long-term storage solutions is an unacceptable problem and risk. Got a point there. Opponents of nuclear energy say that until renewable energies are able to cover the complete energy demands of mankind, it's arguably safer to store nuclear waste for the time being than to inhale poisonous gases and promote rapid climate change. But Got a, a point there. About nuclear waste would go too far here. Yeah. More about it in our sources. Let us know if you'd like a whole video about it. I would it. love that. So like they watch the my videos. Death rates. It's a bit concerning that some countries are replacing nuclear energy with fossil fuels, mostly coal. Especially Germany and Japan. All these danged old Republicans. <laughs> in a I'm trying to get political. Public, the German government shut down 11 of its 17 nuclear facilities and plans to close the remaining reactors in 2022. Wow. The immediate gap in energy production was filled by temporarily increasing coal production, the energy source with the largest health impacts. See, but like, in oxygen not included, coal is not very reliable. You do run out. Concluded that as a consequence, the nuclear phase out has led to 1,100 avoidable deaths per year in Germany due to the increased avoidable in deaths the years after 2010. Interesting. So in conclusion, nuclear energy feels way more dangerous than it actually is. Okay. No matter how you look at it, 
The one thing we should strive to get Your rid hat of is, is made out of death, of sir. Fuels to prevent the deaths <laughs> they cause each year and to slow down climate change. Squirrel, hold on. Regardless of how much you personally care about climate change issues or which energy source you favor, saving millions I'm not the of one that set the world on fire. Something we can all agree on. Maybe you've actually made some kind of resolution to try and be more sustainable this year. Or maybe your goals are more about you as a person <laughs> and you'd like to pick up some new skills. Yeah, Still that, that two, mostly two is me. Is the perfect time to work on that plan. Yeah. We've partnered with Skillshare, an online learning community. Oh, okay, Skillshare. I know you. For all skill levels in tons of creative skills like illustration, animation, or film and video. I keep saying I want to do this, but, but I never do. I really need to. I want to do the animation one. Growing house plants or interior. That's what I went to college for, and then I kind of frack that up. More enjoyable and learning. Good job new. there, little bird. You get unlimited access to all classes for less than ten dollars a month with an annual premium membership. And the first 1,000 Kurzgesagt viewers to click the link in the description will get a free trial. Yeah, I'm way behind. This is a week old. <laughs> to to take, maybe get started with something super practical, like learning how to best approach your creative process. You okay there, buddy? We liked Productivity for Creatives. Build a system that brings out your best by Thomas Frank. This is cool. But whatever makes you feel good and gives you new ideas. Nice! If you want to get creative... Instead of just charging a phone, you made a... Support is that a... Go. I guess that would be a helicopter. That is awesome, and you are tempting me with that plushie. You know, someone on my Discord said they had it, and I got mad. All right, so that was really, really insightful stuff. Like, I was one of the people that, like he said in the end of the video, that, like, you think, like, nuclear energy sounds way more dangerous than it actually is. And, like, looking at stuff like this, it's like, it makes me wonder, like, what else am I being lied to about? Like, all this people, like, I'm not trying to be one of those, like, oh, tinfoil hat, the USA government controls everything that kind of people. Like, I'm not trying to be that at all. But you got to understand, like, there is, like, the high, high end people, like the oil and gas companies and stuff like that. Like, they legitimately, like, they pull some strings and stuff because I've seen it personally with, like, the big tobacco industries do that to, like, vaping and stuff like that, for instance. Like, it's just, it's amazing. And I know I took, I kind of took the wrong, the wrong idea out of this video, but still, like, I guess in a way, no, I, it's, it's the same, you know, because I'm talking about how nuclear energy is actually a whole lot safer than coal and gas and all the fossil fuels. I mean, they, they already summed it up for me. It's fossil fuels. <laughs> but, but the thing about fossil fuels is that they will run out, like, eventually. It's not an unlimited number. We are very limited. And every time we just keep going more and more and more and more and more trying to dig out more of it, we're just getting less and less of it. So it makes sense to move into like renewable energy, like just <laughs> like all the green stuff. And I guess even nuclear, like I didn't even think nuclear energy was that good, but apparently it is as long as it doesn't blow up. <laughs> but eventually it will blow up over time. So kind of like he said in the video, it's like, you win and you lose, no matter what you pick. And that's kind of just life, I guess, <laughs> in general. There's a good thing to everything, there's a bad thing to everything. It's just, try to find the one, the lesser of two evils is how the uh, the saying goes. So yeah, this was a very insightful video. I really, really enjoyed it a lot. And I like going back to, in a nutshell, almost said Gertzke. Gertzkagat, but I just remembered that I can't say it. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later days!